Hello, hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to go through a game I just started playing. I'm going to go through the deck that I got yesterday. Uh, I know it's uh, a build that's been... It's just, it's just a stupid starter deck, but whatever. It's fun. Um, and the game that I started playing is Pokemon. I started playing this game again. Uh, this, car, this card game was like one of my childhood games. Pokemon. Really big. So I was at my card shop yesterday and I bought a deck. So I'm going to go through the, just the deck mechanics of it, how it works, and the cards in it. So basically this deck works um, works on evolving uh, and draw power, lots of draw power. Um, so the main focus of the deck right now, or at least uh, the main focus, uh, is your magic card. You want to get your magic card in your graveyard. Um, it's the best way to win. Next, you have your four Gyarados that you evolve into. Um, and his, his first ability, Tail Revenge, you get to use for free. And it just it does 30 times the number of uh, times the number of magic card in your grave. So that's pretty good. That's like now you can be easily 90 damage. Uh, next, uh, to Azelf, um, two, two different versions of them. Um, they just, I think these are basically meant to stall. Uh, to stall and to just kind of get you what you need at the right time. Um, this one does, lets you look at your prizes and then you pick one, put it in your hand, and then add one card from your hand to your prize pool. That's pretty cool. Actually, I like that. And then this Pokemon's got a Pokebody, uh, Downer Material. If you have the other two, uh, Oxy and Mespir Mesprit, uh, in play, then the attack cost of each of your opponent's attacks, base Pokemon, basic Pokemon's attacks, is one colorless more. Uh, you cannot use the that more than once. That's cool. Uh, next one, uh, Oxy. Once during your turn, when you put Oxy from your hand to your bench, you may draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. That's pretty good, just lets you draw cards. And then Mesprit, uh, when you have Oxy and else Alza or Azelf in your or in play, so on your bench uh, or as you're active, the retreat cost for each Oxy or Mesprit. Oxy Misprint or Azel uh, is zero. Both you and your opponents. So, uh, considering that I, these, I guess, are like somehow staple cards in decks or something like that, like my friend bought one too, and I guess these are staple cards. I really don't know. I'm just kind of figuring out how this works. Uh, one unknown Q lets you equip him as a uh, power, or as a Poke Tool, just lets you to. Uh, Lets you pay one less to retreat, and then two Crobat. This is a really good card. Just deals drops damage and uh, drops toxic counters every turn, or, or deals damage every turn, but in, in the form of poison counters, basically. And it's like it's sick. You, and then he's got a no retreat cost, which is even better. You just drop him in, and then back up, and then <laughs> swing bigger with your guys. Pretty uh, pretty cool mechanic there. Um, so next, uh, one combi, uh, obviously for his, uh, attack, or his attack ability, I guess, um, alert, lets you draw a card and then swap them back, it's really good, um, lets you just draw, it's, uh, like I said, this deck's based, uh, based on draw power and search power, um, Next, we have three. Sorry, not three. Four. Sableyes. Uh, I never bothered to read what entirely what he does. Sableyes got a Poke Body called Over uh, Over Eager. Uh, if he's your active at the beginning of the t uh, game, you get to go first. That's pretty good. Uh, he's got a zero cost impersonate. Uh, search your deck for a supporter card and discard it. Shuffle your deck afterwards and use the effect. 
that card's effect as this attack uh, affected this attack. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then overconfident, if the defending Pokemon has fewer remaining HP than Sableye, this base attack's damage is 40. So that's a pretty good card. Uh, so, like I said, it's more surge power for supporters. Uh, next, uh, we have a, a Luxury. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, one retreat, two, uh, or bite does 30, trash bolt does 70. And then next, we have his leveled up form. Um, so, the level X form. Uh, his poke power is once during your turn, before you attack, when you put Luxury GL level X from your hand onto your active Luxury GL, you may switch the defending Pokemon of one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you get to swap, kick back your opponent's Pokemon to their bench and pick one that you can just wail on. That's pretty cool. Um, Flash Impact does 30 damage to one of your Pokemon and doesn't apply weakness or resistance damage. Uh, and then it just does 60. And he has no retreat cost, which is pretty sweet. You just get in there real quick and swipe away, and then come back, drop back. Okay, uh, next, that's uh, that's it for the Pokemon lineup, really. It doesn't seem like it's all that much. Um, we're going to go into the stadium, because there's only four stadium cards in this. Broken time space, basically allowing you to evolve at a faster pace, just evolving Gyarados into Gyarados at a very fast pace. Simple as that. Um, you just basically can evolve... Uh, the same turn you play a card, or you play a, uh, a Pokemon. Next, double Expert Belts uh, gives plus 20 attack and plus 20 uh, health to a Pokemon, uh, and it's re that's pretty good. But then, but if the Pokemon dies, uh, your opponent gets to pick up two, uh, two treasures. So it's a good, it's an even trade-off. Um, what I still need to find out is if the card actually goes away when it get when the Pokemon gets kicked back to the bench, whether it gets discarded. I don't know that for sure, though. Uh, next, four super scoop up. Just basically lets you bring, uh, bring back your damaged Pokemon and stuff like that. Like that card. Uh, versus Seeker. Lets you surf for, search for a supporter card uh, and add it to your hand. Like I said, this deck is very focused on draw power, so that's a really good card um, to have. Next, I don't understand why these are here. Like, I think the only SP Pokemon that I saw was Crobat. Just return an, S, uh, an SP and all of Pokemon and all of its attached cards to your hand. So I guess if you open up Crobat and you have just a bunch of stuff on them, you can pop them back, and if you need to put your stuff on Gyarados, you can. Uh, next... For Pokemon Rescue, search your deck for or search your discard pile for Pokemon. Show it to your opponent. Put it in your hand. Pretty good when you just need to get that extra Gyarados out. Um, I don't know. It's it's just it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one Cynthia's feelings. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If you have, if any of your Pokemon are are were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, then you draw four more. So, that's a really good card. It's just super draw power and lets you just get cards that you can play later. And they're super... It's, it's just, like I said, you, you plus all the time with this. Uh, next, four Felic uh, Felicities drawings. Uh, just You discard up to two cards from your hand. If you discard one, you draw three. If you discard two, you draw four. Uh, good trade-off, I would say. You find a lot of, sometimes, some dead cards in your hand for the situation. So... It's pretty good, and then you just get new cards. Uh, next, three Bebe's Search. Uh, you pick a card from your hand, put it on top of your deck, search your deck for a Pokemon, and put it in your hand. Which is good, because if you have your Magikarp out, you play this, get your Gyarados, and you go, you're you good. Uh, and then you can shuffle your deck. So if you have a card that you don't want to necessarily see right now, uh, you can drop it, and then drop it on top of the deck, and then shuffle it up. Uh, next, you got four Pokemon Searcher. So this card uh, lets you pick, find three Pokemon, uh, basic Pokemon from your deck, and put them onto your bench. Or no, it just puts it in your hand. But you can play them. Um, basically, these guys are just to search out uh, Azelf, uh, Uxie, and, Mis and Misprit, uh, and just play them all at the same time. And then, surprisingly, I guess there's only six energies in this deck. 
because you really only need six because Gyarados can use his, one of his abilities for free. Um, so three warp energy. This one allows you when you equip the tier active, you can switch it with one of your bench. You switch it with one of your bench Pokemon, and then Cyclones the same thing except you do that with your opponent's Pokemon. You you, you attach it and you swap your opponent's Pokemon back. Um, so that's pretty good, I'd say. I don't know the the decks. I played the deck a few a few times, and it's actually really good. It plays uh, very smoothly uh, when it goes off. It goes off really good. Um, it's really not that hard to to get it to go off. Like it, you just need to open up with a semi decent hand. Like you just need to open up with at least a couple Pokemon to keep you going until you can just get your draw power combos off. So that's really all it is. Um, the deck's super fun. I would suggest like these are the the 2010 World Championship decks. Um, I would suggest it, I would suggest getting one. They're really really interesting. They're like twelve dollars I think from well they were twelve dollars from my local card shop, uh, Galactic Force. Check them out. Uh, GalacticForce.com I believe is the website or just Google it. Um, if you're in the Chicagoland area, if you live up, uh, if you live in the city, uh, it's on the off the Belmont stop. You just walk west off the, on on Belmont um, from the Red Line Belmont stop, and then it's on your left hand side as you're walking uh, on the left side to side of the street so check those guys out they're really cool we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh um, on Fridays starting at 630 uh, so people can get there please be there early or on time uh, because I the the software we use doesn't allow us to put anybody in late which is really dumb uh, so if you show up late you're probably not gonna get to play so get there on time that's all I'm saying we got turbo packs, um, turbo pack fours for uh, entry uh, entry packs as well as prize payout if you want them. Uh, we have movie packs and stuff like that. So check us out. We do magic. We do Warhammer. We do Naruto. We do WoW. We do Pokemon. We do Battle Spirits. We do everything. Th this is an all around great game shop. We have a bunch of board games. We have a bunch of Gundam models and stuff like that. Like really cool stuff, guys check us out uh, if you are in the area. Like I said, it's right off of the Belmont stop. Uh, you just walk west on Belmont uh, from the Red Line Belmont stop and you it'll be right on your left hand side. It's just, it's right next to there's a, a bear's flag hanging right next to the next door. So you you can't really miss it. But you, so check us out guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I don't know. I, I want to make this deck different, I guess. Uh, post suggestions, I guess, if you see anything, if you think can think of anything fun um, to do. I really am not taking this super seriously or anything, just as like a fun little thing to play, just to pick up and play. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.